Thank you, Johnny, and welcome to the 2018 ICCF U.S. Congressional International Conservation Gala. Thank all of you for coming. We'll try to be brief because we know we want to get to dinner. But to start this evening's program, I'd like to introduce the ICCF co-chair, Congressman Jeff Fortenberry. Jeff? Where's Jeff? There he is. Jeff? Thank you, uh, Congressman Tanner. We were sharing a laugh a, little, a moment ago. Um, we think former Defense Secretary Hagel and Congressman Tanner were separated at birth, if you notice the, the uh, resemblance. Pleasure to see you all tonight. I can't really see you. The lights are so uh, bright. But they're bright for a reason. It's because we all believe so deeply in the, in the mission of the International Conservation Caucus Foundation under leadership of Dave Barron and John Gant and the entire team do such an extraordinary job of really keeping alive and in the forefront front a singular principle. And it's this, that no person, no thing, ever ought to be thrown away. And many of you here who are underwriting these efforts, let me thank you from the bottom of my heart because this caucus in Congress is not only bipartisan in nature, it's transpartisan in nature because it is about higher things, noble things, things that last. It's about this fundamental value of good stewardship. I came home at midnight recently, and I have five children, and my 15-year-old met me at the door, and uh, she told me that her state cheer championships were the next morning, and that her mother couldn't go, and she knew I wouldn't go, wouldn't go and so no one loved her. So. I told her I wish she had planned this a little bit with me, but nonetheless, I rearranged my schedule, made it to the cheer championships in western Nebraska, about 100 miles away, and on the way back, I had a lot of windshield time. In my mind, I was thinking about this old truck that I had seen on Craigslist. I've been interested in that kind of thing for a long time. I'm not an antique truck guy, but I called the guy, and he said, well, I think it might been sold. I said, is it for sale or not? He said, hey, money talks. I said, well, meet me at the Kansas-Nebraska line and bring your title. We'll see you make a deal. I get down there. The truck is really cool. I called my wife on the way there. I said, I'm looking at an old truck. And she said, I don't think that's a good idea. I said, I'm sorry, I have to go. But <laughs> I looked at this truck, and he said, you want to drive it? I said, yeah. No power steering, no power brakes, three in the tree, a step side, Ford F-100 pickup, John Deere Green, 1963. Some of you may have learned on those trucks, as I did. So I'm struggling to get it out on the highway, and it's been a long time since I've driven something like this, and there's an old man on the corner, and he looks at me, and he looks at the truck, and he goes, <laughs> I bought the truck. Why did that old man do this? Because that piece of equipment reminded him of a time of interconnectedness, a time of community, a time where his relationship to his neighbors and the work of his own two hands really meant something. And I think that's the type of value that we're all longing for in our ever-increasing technological and spinning world. And when we come together around this deeper value of conservation and stewardship of resources, not resource depletion, not resource re utilization, but resource regeneration, I think we find a binding narrative that not only honors our past, but gives us a vision for the future. That's why I'm so proud to be a part of this. My, my job tonight primarily is to introduce the head of the Global Environment Facility, Dr. Naoko Ishii. We were talking in the back, and she said, please, Congressman, forego all the formality about my background. But she's a deputy finance minister from Japan who worked in finance for 30 years. And she's told me something very important. She said, those of us in the finance world, we didn't value nature. This job, it's opened my mind, and it's opened my heart. And again, I think those are the binding elements that bring us all here tonight. So with that, please help me to welcome Dr. Ishii.
Your Excellency, Mr. Masisi, President of Botswana, members of the Congress, John, David, friends, and colleagues, very, very good evening to everyone. I am truly honored to be here with all of you tonight for this wonderful gala event. What unites us here tonight is our conviction that protecting nature is a good investment. Indeed, it is one of the most cost-effective investments we can make to fight against the poverty in the developing world. Protecting nature also ensures that we have a healthy planet for our society to, to, to thrive in generations to come. But there are big threats to nature. Illegal wildlife trade and illegal logging continue to undermine livelihoods of the local communities. It is also financing criminal networks and triggering conflict and migration. Plastics and marine debris is threatening the health of our ocean. And toxic chemicals, including mercury, continue to be released, which is bad for both the environment and the health of human beings. I am very proud of the work that the GF has been doing all over the world to tackle those issues in partnership with the government, like Botswana, and also together with uh, many, many partners around um, here tonight. But I also want to make it 100% clear that we couldn't do those works without the support of the member of the House and the Senator who are here tonight. Your leadership to, to, to has helped leverage the financial resources which Jeff has been receiving are from more than 30 other governments. Every dollar provided by the U.S. taxpayer is being matched by 40, 40 additional dollar. Thanks to you, 3,300 new parks covering 2.1 billion acres, an area larger than the continental U.S., is now being protected. Thanks to you, 200,000 tons of highly toxic chemicals has been disposed, so they do not enter our food chain. We have also made sure that in 110 countries, national laws are being brought up to the US standard for mercury emissions. And thanks to you, we will prevent 50,000 tons of plastic from flowing into our ocean. I cannot close my short remarks without thanking the ICCF. We have partnered with ICCF to build conservation caucus in the partners in, in parliaments Afro, across Africa and Latin America, which was built on the remarkable experience of the U.S. Congress. The result of this work, for instance, including the stronger anti-poaching laws that protect park rangers who risk their lives on the front line fighting against poaching day after day. Excellencies, member of the House and the Senate, John, David, friends and colleagues, with partners like you, I am very, very hopeful that we will win this battle, the battle for the global conservation. Thank you very, very much.